What spark plugs should you use in a modular motor? Well, guess what? You got a lot of options out there. As you can see, I'm in here getting the plugs knocked out. And what I've been using for my boost application is an NGK TR6. That's a code 4177. So amongst all the modular motors, like I was saying, the TR6 is a great plug. You find them at Advance Auto. You can get them on Amazon. The TR6 4177. Now, of course, this is a boosted application. Um, just pick some plugs here, and you can just see how good these look. These have almost 20,000 miles on them. I normally change them out at 10 on my boosted applications. Uh, they seem to, I mean, they're copper plugs. They seem to go a little bit bad. Uh, not bad necessarily, but I guess they lose their edge. I was noting around 10,000 or so, but... In this case, they didn't. They had a little moment, a little misfire to around the 10,000, 11,000 mile mark. And then I never had an issue out of them again. And I just kept running them. We're on the highway a lot. But I can see the decline in fuel economy now. So we note that. So anyway, for any modular motor, the NGK TR6 plug is a one-step colder plug than stock. Um, of course, your stock motorcraft plugs are like the AGSF 32C, and you know you've got your AGF 32C, you've got 28, etc. You can 22, um, rather, uh, yeah, there'll be AGS 22C. You have a different sets of plugs that you can choose from. Um, all in all, I like these plugs and I use them all the time. If we're going to use coils, anything on a modular motor ignition system, always use stock coils. Don't touch MSD. I've had Screaming Demon, uh, be it the coil on plugs or the EDIS setups for the, you know, 96, uh, 98 and earlier Mustangs before they went to coil on plug. Anything out of this selection, it just, mm. I don't really try to pick out of these selections anymore because they're just they're just not good they're just not good spark uh, plugs uh, if you're going to like auto lights and all that stuff. So just stick with these sets and they do very well. Uh, same with the coil packs. Stick with OEM Ford coil packs. You can find them on Amazon. You can get them on uh, at various uh, places. Of course, if you're in a bind and you need to go to the auto parts store and replace a coil then do what you got to do but mm, stick with the stick with the OEM coil i highly suggest it on this car i swapped out all eight coil packs just because i needed to now as you can see of course i'm running these on E85 and every plug looks very good like the the pattern of of where uh, the spark the strap you know for when it comes to reading plugs now this doesn't give you a reliable wide open throttle reading this is just a general lifetime reading uh the plugs aren't black so we're not like encountering like a lot of soot or anything like that so we're not in a, a circumstance where our plugs are in bad shape the car is running fine and anytime you change your plugs you should always read all of your plugs just for any damage like speckling physical impact uh, cracking of course which can happen if you don't have physical cracking sometimes you have uh, like actual just pieces missing off the plug or a spark plug that's physically broken in the inside oil um, especially if you take a plug and you look at it and you have not oil so much on the threads as you do on this actual base in the combustion chamber itself all of these plugs look great none of these plugs look like they're in any bad shape or any damage so i've got no complaints anyway that's pretty much all i have to say spark plugs ngk is a great choice for any spark plugs you need for any modular motor applications boosted and non-boosted if you're going to go naturally aspirated i always suggest for the the generally stock setups slight compression do um about 54 thousandths 54 thousandths is a good range for boosted applications it depends here i'm doing 30 to 32 thousandths is my range for this 10 pounds of boost and this is of course 10.1 to 1 compression on these engines so that's that's where i'm running it at and that works great at 35 thousandths i was getting a little blowout so we just gapped it down to 30 and the car runs great at wide open throttle i don't have any issues naturally aspirated about 54 55 if you do have some outrageously great aftermarket coil which there are very few available but if you were on that you can sometimes gap a little larger than that 
Uh, overall here, that works for the setup. So with that said, that's really all I have. When you're gonna go out and shop for plugs, I love the step colder plug. Sometimes you can go another step colder for your higher horsepower applications, gasoline, etc. But since we're on E85 here, I have kept the setup to this and that has worked well. So I've never had any issues with running these plugs and the, the car runs great. I just changed these out after that 20,000 mile stint and I should see my fuel economy come back to normal. And of course, when I get on the highway, I'll find that out. And if I think I have any other issues, then we can determine those from there. So don't forget, TR6 4177 is the number and well obviously you need eight because because v8 <laughs> anyway don't forget to like smash subscribe you know the drill and uh spread this to your other modular motor friends